Let's take a look at the pie charts questions. You can use a calculator for all of these if you need to. Question number one, which subject was the most popular among the students? Well, all you're doing is looking for the biggest slice of this pizza, and that is clearly the PE slice. So PE was the most popular subject. What fraction said maths was their favorite? Well, we've been told that maths is 60 degrees. Now the full pizza, as it's a circle, is 360. So that's 60 out of 360. So there is our answer as a fraction. The only thing is we can simplify that fraction so that we can get a slightly better answer. If we just chop off the zeros, in other words, if we just divide both numbers by 10, we get six out of 36. And both six and 36 are in the six times table. So let's divide top and bottom by six. Six divided by six is one. 36 divided by 6 is 6, so 1 sixth said that their favourite subject was maths. So for question number 2, the first thing we need to do is work out the total amount of soup sold. So if we add up all of these figures here, we know that the total is 90. So for chicken, 18 out of 90. What we're trying to do is we are trying to turn this into a fraction that is out of 360, 360 degrees. Now to turn a 90 into a 360, we are multiplying by four. If you don't know that that is times four, then just do 360 divided by 90. So therefore we need to multiply 18 by four and um, 18 times by four comes to 72 degrees. Minestrone is nine out of the 90 and 9 out of 90, um, again we can do exactly the same thing but you might think that 9 out of 90 you know that that is 1 tenth. So what is 1 tenth of 360 degrees? 1 tenth of 360, 360 divided by 10 is 36 degrees. Carrot and coriander is 11 out of 90 so we're turning that into an equivalent fraction out of 360. Again the bottom is times by 4 so the top needs to be times 4 as well so that is 44 degrees. And for 25 out of 90, again, we just need to multiply the top by four. 25 times four is 100. And if you want to double check <clears throat> that these angles add up to 360, then go ahead and add them up and you'll see that it does add up to 360. And then all we need to do is using a protractor, just measure out all the, all the angles and your pie chart should look something like that. Question number three, which mode of transport is the least common? So which is the smallest slice? Well, that's the train with 36 degrees. We don't know the number of degrees for car, but we know that's definitely not less than 36. What is the angle of the car section? Well, we know that all of these will add up to 360. So car is gonna be 360 minus 63 minus 36 minus 72. And if you type that in on the calculator, that comes to 189 degrees and that seems about right because uh, it's just well 180 would be the semicircle and it's just a tiny bit more than the semicircle. What fraction of employees go on the train to get to work so that is 36 degrees out of the full 360 and again um, well maybe you you can see um, what that's going to turn into if not just do um, 36 divided by 30, 360 on your calculator and you'll get 0 0.1 which maybe you recognize as one tenth. If not you can just simplify this fraction in installments or maybe you can spot that both top and bottom can be divided by 36. 36 divided by 36 is 1. How many 36s go into 360? That is 10 so that is one tenth. If there are 40 in uh, if there are 40 employees at the company, how many walk to work? So 72 degrees, we need to work out what fraction that is. Well, I know that 72 is double 36. Um, so if 36 degrees is one tenth, then 72 degrees is two tenths. Alternatively, what is 72 divided by 360? Um, well, probably the easiest way actually is to work out what is 72 360ths of 40 or work out two tenths of 40. If you're able to use a calculator, 
um, then it's probably easier just to stick with this um, method here. So this is 72 360 of the full amount. If the full amount represents 40 employees, then we want to work out 72 360 of 40. So this is a fraction of an amount. So we're taking the total, we are dividing it by the bottom number and multiplying it by the top number. So 40 divided by 360 times by 72, and that comes to a total of eight employees. Alternatively, as I mentioned before, if you know that 36 degrees is one tenth and this is two tenths, what is two tenths of 40? Well, that's 40 divided by 10, which is four. Four times two is eight. For question number four, this is quite um, similar to question number two. The first thing we need to do is work out the total number of guests. So if we add this up, that comes to 60. So zero to 10 is five. So five sixtieths, we can either work out, well, what is five sixtieths of 360 degrees, or we can turn five out of 60 into an equivalent fraction out of 360. If we're doing the fraction of an amount method, method take your total, divide it by the number on the bottom, and then multiply it by the number on the top, and that will give us a 30 degree slice. Alternatively, to turn a 60 into a 360 and multiplying by 60, sorry, you're not multiplying by 60, you're multiplying by six. So multiply the top by six, five sixes are 30. We still get the answer 30. Um, so for 11 to 18, we want to work out seven sixtieths of 360. 360 divided by 60 times by seven, that's 42 degrees. Here we want to do 360 divided by 60 times 17, which is 102 degrees. 360 divided by 60 multiplied by 21, which is 126 degrees. And 360 divided by 60 multiplied by 10, which is 60 degrees. And again, you might want to double check that all of these figures um, add up to um, 360 degrees. Um, so your final pie chart should look something similar to this. Again, if you use a protractor, to work out all the angles there. Question number five, which expense was the most money spent on? Well, we can see that the biggest angle is the 150 degrees, so that is therefore food and drink. What percentage of the total amount was spent on party bags? Well, that is 66 degrees out of the total 360. So to turn this from a fraction into a percentage, it's top divided by bottom, multiplied by 100, and that comes to 18.3 recurring percent. Probably easier just to call that 18.3% or even 18% will probably be fine. So if the total amount spent was 120, how much was spent on decoration? So first of all, we need to work out the missing angle here. So the angle is 360 degrees, which is the full circle minus the 150, minus 120, minus 66, and that comes to 24 degrees. So what we need to do is work out 24 360ths of 120. Again, we're working out a fraction of an amount, so that's 120 divided by the number on the bottom, 360, multiplied by 24, and that comes to eight pounds. And question number six, First thing we need to do is work out the total number of people, which is 90. Now the full pie chart is 360 degrees. So for winter, we want uh, 14 ninetieths of 360. So 360 divided by 90 multiplied by 14. Alternatively, you could just work it out as an equivalent fraction to turn 90 into a 360. We're multiplying by four. So quadruple the top as well and that is 56 degrees. 360 divided by 90 times 14 also gives you 56. Here, 20 90ths of 360, so 360 divided by 90 times by 20, that's 80 degrees, and 48 90ths of 360, so 360 divided by 90 times by 48, that's 192 degrees, and then 8 90ths of 360, so 360 divided by 90 multiplied by eight is 32 degrees. So we've done the hard work, we've worked out the angles. 
Now we just need to do a pie chart uh, which should look something along these lines.